Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Cut to You design team and I'm using one of the title cut files for this one called Happy Dance. Now you can also see that it is more of a statement piece. So um, we've got a full title here called This Calls for a Happy Dance and I've cut this quite big and I thought where I would go with this was some color blocking. Um, in a bit of a rainbow order, I guess. So starting with some reds, orange, yellows, greens, and the blues and purples. So just a little bit into the rainbow um, theme here. I'm just looking to be able to create color blocking under each of the words. So you'll see what I mean in just a moment. To kick off things though, I am using the insides, the negative pieces of the cut file, and I'm using my ink blending tool there just to color those up. Um, and I won't show you all of that. I'm gonna fast forward any moment, so it's pretty boring watching me do that. Um, and the color, I'll go through the colors with you as well in just a moment. I've also gessoed my white textured white cardstock as well um, because I know I'm going to use quite a bit of water when I'm going to um, with my inks here in just a moment so I'm going from the top of the top of the color pieces of the first one is distress oxide they're all distress oxides that I'm using today in barn door oh my goodness that is such a beautiful beautiful color um it is certainly a reddish toned color. It's got a little, I think it's got a little bit of coral in it as well. So it was perfect for where I was heading with that. Um, and then the next color that I'm going to use that comes into play is dried marigold, which is a lovely orangey toned color. So what I've done here is just um, smoosh down my ink pad onto some plastic packaging, added some water, and I'm smushing that down. I'm bringing back my cut file to make sure that I've got some where I need it to go. So just being underneath that next word or what, wherever. And I'm using my brush a little bit as well, just to make sure that I'm moving it around. I'm, I'm then going to come with my brush with a little bit of clean water as well to really blend the colors together. So it really starts creating a beautiful watercolor effect as we go down the page. So that next color there is mustard seed, which is a wonderful, wonderful yellow. It is absolutely my one of my favorite distress oxide colors. I've got it in everything I think, uh, in terms of the spray and the and the pad and all that sort of stuff. So this is where I, when I was pulling it together, I wanted to be able to use the green, and there I've used on the cut file happy. I've actually taken um, the distress, dress, distress oxide straight onto that as well. So the little bit of green there that is gonna go under the letter A um, is the color Rustic Wilderness and it's a beautiful greeny green color. Um, lovely when you put some water to it, it really gives it a lovely little softer look as well. And the blue that I'm using today is prize ribbon which is again that's one of the newish ones I think Tim Colts released that last year or earlier this year and it is a wonderful blue it's definitely one of my favorites as well I I can't deny his new ones um, that he has been releasing over the last 12 months or so are definitely where were they all our lives I guess <laughs> um, and the purple one there is seedless preserve so as you can see I'm just working through there Picking a little bit up with some with some sponge as well, just to um, as it dripped a little bit too far <laughs> into the area there, just with some tissue paper, and that's pretty much the background. What I do come in now with is just to add a little bit more dimension and a little bit more, you know, interest to the background. Is I come back around and put some splatters, color on color, so just the red barn door on the barn door again marigold etc etc um, so I just smooshed down my ink pad again just onto my onto my table added some water and then just put some splatters across that color just to give it that extra bit of voo 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 my guess and I have to say I love how that background turned out is exactly what I envisaged in my mind and it's probably my favorite one that I've done in a in a little while I really had lots of fun pulling this one together 
So the photo that I'm using today is a photo from my 50th birthday. Um, hopefully I, I'm not boring you too much. Um, I talk about this party all the time. It was earlier this year. Um, I had a big celebration um, with all of my friends and family and it was just a fantastic um, afternoon and evening. And the photo that I'm using today is me and one of my besties shell and um, I thought it was a perfect perfect way to celebrate being together that night the collection that I'm also using today as you can see a little sneaky bit of that on the top side of the page is the Paige Evans a wonders collection I actually haven't done a lot with this collection I realized I had still quite a lot in my stash and this has gave me a really big opportunity to do a nice big bright layout as well So I'm just sticking down my cut file. I've cut it, I've stuck it straight down on to the cardstock. So I'm not doing any, um, you know, heightening it with any dimension or anything like that. What I decided to do was with the letters that I'm going to insert back into the cut file, I have distressed the edges and I sort of curl them up a little bit. So they sort of sit off the page and I only put glue in the center of each of the, of the letters. Um, so it's got a little bit of movement as well. So I've got all my pieces tucked back inside the centers of the cut file. And I thought um, I would just pop the photo underneath the happy. And I really felt that that gave it a nice little cushion and, and a nice little place to nestle that. That's one of the really good things about using cut files. Sometimes it gives you exactly where you need to put your photo. So there's not a lot of thinking needed and not a lot of think um, about, you know, toing and froing about where you want to put things. Um, I mean, I faff around a lot. So if I can get a cut file that sort of gives me a bit of an indication of where a photo is going to be, that's all even better. So to embellish, um, I'm going again with tone on tone. Um, so I matched back all the flowers. I'd gone through all of the collection to have a look at what I had had left. So I've, the one thing about the Paige Evans collection, particularly Wonders, is everything is so big. So it took me quite a few goes to sort of think about where I was going to place some of the flowers. I did cut some of them down, um, but I still wanted that really bright, um, energetic type layout anyway. And because the cut file was quite big, it gave me sort of permission, I guess, to also use some larger embellishments. And then I sort of countered that with then just adding some of the smaller flowers. So at the top right hand side there, beside this, I've got that larger flower with that smaller flower. Beside the photo, I've got the large yellow, then I've reduced it down a little bit with some blue, some of the blue flowers. But I really wanted to then maintain where um, that color blocking was. So yellow on yellow, orange on orange. And I got stuck actually with the orange. You'll see there I've got no flowers or anything like that. And I'm trying to put some flowers in there and it just didn't work. So I went through back through the patterned paper that I had, particularly the smaller pads, um, the A5, is it, or whatever size they are, the six by six. And then I, I found some butterflies and things like that that were in that orangey sort of tone. So I do start to work through what I put there. Um, just to make sure I had some orange. It was going to look really strange if I'd had all the other colors and nothing with the orange. And with the green, I was able to just add in some leaves. Um, I did add the leaves over to the right hand side, even though there was no green tones in that color blocking, but I thought the flowers really needed some of that rest for me and with my eyes and give it a little bit of that greenery feel. And that sort of allowed that a happy to be almost a true vertical, just that was a layout of its own. I hope I make sense when I say that. Um, that's where I was thinking with that and that's why I put those leaves on that right hand side. Um, it looked a bit weird not having the leaves. I think it's always a great addition if you can put some leaves in amongst your floral clusters. I also added some dimension in areas as well. So the top right, the top left hand side flower, I've got a flower sitting on top of a flower and I popped that up on a little bit of card as well. 
And I've also um, curled up the edges of these flowers to give that added dimension as well. Now I know eventually it will get flattened in a light, you know, once it's in an album, but I don't really mind about that for now. These ones sit out on my, you know, in my, in my craft area, um, for quite a while. Um, so I, you know, I use them as inspiration over the next few months and, and all that type of thing. I don't really put my things away all that often. Um, and then just some final embellishing. I added in some hearts, some gold enamel, or they're puffy hearts actually. I think they're from, they were in my stash as well. And I, I can't remember whether they were from the Paige Evans or whether they, yeah, they were from the Paige Evans puffy stickers as well. Uh, I am also putting some butterflies. I mean, I can't resist butterflies around the page. And I also finish off with some gold splatters as well. I mean, nothing better than just adding in a little bit of that gold, particularly after I ended up getting some of those, that orange butterfly had that gold effect on it. So I wanted to make sure that I toned in then with the gold. So there's the gold on the butterfly, the hearts, and now the actual uh, splatters. Um, I always like to have um, those color tones back because I think it works a lot better in terms of the aesthetics of a page so the cut the colors are toned back to each other hopefully I've made some sense today and given you a little bit of inspiration I've got some close-ups to share and I will leave all the details in the description box below on where you can get the cut file and the group on Facebook as well thank you so much for joining me today I really appreciate you spending some time with me and I will see you next time bye for now